Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we're doing my Asian Cup semifinal predictions. So we're on, guys, the semifinals will take place Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm going to go ahead and recap the quarterfinals real quickly. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get started with the semifinals. So let's go ahead and start with the quarterfinal predictions. So I predicted the first game we got here. It is um, Tajikistan versus Jordan. I correctly predicted Jordan to advance. So I got that prediction correct. The next game was Australia versus Korea Republic. I was very close to picking Korea Republic, but I picked Australia to win on penalties, so I got that one wrong. So zero there. And then Iran versus Japan. I picked Japan to win. Iran actually won. So Iran, I got that one wrong. And Qatar versus Uzbekistan. I picked Uzbekistan. So unfortunately, I only got one out of four correct, which just shows how insane the semifinals were and how difficult it was to predict. And I, I think it would be very, I think it would have been very impressive if anyone got four out of four because there are many teams we have. All three of these teams have won it, um, and we're gonna and we only have one team has never won it. Anyways, enough introductions. Let's go ahead and, and get started. So starting with the first game, which you got here is South Korea versus Jordan. You have to give a ton of respect to Jordan here for reaching this stage because Jordan has done a fantastic job. This is the first time ever in the semi, first time ever they made the semifinals history of the Asian Cup, and this is their best ever, best ever finish. And, you know, and you have to give credit to this team because this is a team that. I don't think a lot of people were talking about before the tournament. You know, when people were saying the dark horse pick, everyone was, I think a lot of people were picking Uzbekistan, Oman, I think was even picked. Um, and I don't think Jordan was really popular pick, you know, and for them to actually do this is incredible. You know, players like Al Tamrit and Al Nemit have been amazing. Al Tarami, sorry, not Al, you know, and Al Nemit has been fantastic. And I just think for Jordan, man, they've been fantastic. Now, I do have some bad news for break. I believe Ayelin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing their names right. And Ayid is going to be suspended for this game. Two big, massive players for them. And those two are very crucial for Jordan. We know how good Jordan have been. As for South Korea, this is a team that tactically haven't been great. They haven't been great to watch in the Asian Cup. But they're getting the results. And you could tell that this team isn't playing well. But they're somehow getting it done. They're somehow finding a way to. And what's key about this tournament, it's not about playing well. It's about winning. And that's what South Korea is doing. Because I would make a strong argument. They haven't really been that great in the games. Like, there's a strong argument that can be made. The opponent has been better than for most of the games. But they find a way to win. They just know how to win. And crazy stat for you guys. And all the games they have in the Asian Cup so far, they have scored a goal after the 90th minute, with the exception of Bahrain. That is quite insane to, have, to do that on a rep repeated basis. And they were in a losing position all five of the games. So that's insane to do that, actually, for the games, you know. And the, my thing with South Korea is that they've gone to two extra time games. They've essentially played an extra match. Well, like two-thirds of an extra match, you could say. Whereas Jordan haven't played extra time at all. So I think you can make a strong argument that Jordan will come into this one, be more match fit, and be more match sharp. For Korea, as I said, Kim and Jay suspended for this game. That's a huge, huge blow. He's one of the best center backs. He's been fantastic. And I just think for South Korea, man, this team is just, they're just finding a way to get it through. You know, they're just finding a way to get it done. And I think for South Korea, they're just looking great, you know, because for me, Son came a clutch in the last game. He was so decisive in the last game. He scored that penalty, won, scored the free kick, and Wong Gi Chan was fantastic. I think for South Korea, my only thing I would say for your green is that I think the 4 2 3 1 is working, um, but just bench Cho. That Cho guy is simply abysmal. That Cho guy is simply abysmal. And that guy cannot start. And can we see a bit more of Kang Lee? I think Kang Lee has been kind of underwhelming. He hasn't really shown up. So I'd like to see Kang Lee get some more game time. Maybe you shift him up up top. You know, try something different. Just don't start that Cho guy, you know? So my prediction for this game. This will definitely be a close game. I think Jordan will give a really good go. But I do think South Korea, ultimately, their quality at the end, I think we'll see them through. And I just think South Korea have too much quality. They have too much quality. And I think it's a team that's not going to give up. So I think South Korea is going to win. Uh, as for a score prediction, I think I'm edging with like a 2 1. I was even thinking maybe a 3 1. I'm going to go somewhere in that range. I think it's going to be a close game. This could be a high scoring game because both defenses look very sketchy at times. Um, but I do think South Korea is obviously a bit more resolute, and the goalkeeper Cho has made some big saves in the last few games. So I do think he'll come up clutch. Man. But yeah, for Jordan, man, best of luck to them. And of course, remember, guys, the two teams did play against each other in the group stage, which ended in a 2 2 draw. So. Moving on to the other game we got here is 442, 446, sorry. Uh, this game, man. Wow. This is a tough one to call. This is a tough one to call. Let's start with Qatar first, since the host nation. 
Qatar, for me, in this tournament, have been good. I would say of all four of these teams, they've actually been the most informed because I believe they've won all of their games uh, by the most dominant fashion. Now, that being said, I don't think Qatar have been really, truly challenged, and I do think Uzbekistan did challenge them to some extent. You saw how the goalkeeper, Bersham, had to make some big saves, especially um, in the second half in particular, where Uzbekistan would say we're the dominant team. My thing with Qatar is that I just think for me with Qatar, it's just that this team just needs to get challenged, you know, and up against the Iran team that were so spirited, it's going to be difficult for Qatar because, like I said before, guys, and I continue to reiterate this, this team without Almaz Ali, Akram Afif, and Al Hedos look very, very mediocre, you know, and I know this Qatar team is good. Obviously, it is good, but I don't think they've been truly challenged. Iran will be the biggest challenge because we just saw what Iran did to Japan. Iran eliminated the tournament favorites Japan against the odds and typically with iran this is a team that goes again typically doesn't do well when the pressure is high on them to perform so for iran man it would be very sad for them just to beat japan only to lose to qatar in the semifinals like imagine just being the tournament favorites and then losing the host right afterwards you know it would just look like it was all for nothing so iran they have to win this they have to win this you know and with teremi back on the team i think teremi is going to have a huge boost and i think he's going to be motivated he's gonna be fully fit for the game we saw how, how good asman was in the last game against um um japan and how how good he was in that creative role because i do think asman is a more of a he's better as like a creative striker he's not really a striker striker he's more like a false nine kind of thing or like a cam per se i don't think he's really like quote unquote that true prolific striker you know and you could you saw how he good he was with his passing his ability to create those through passes you know and i just think for iran man it's gonna be very difficult because obviously, like I said, Qatar have the home field advantage. They have the homes, they have the home spirit, and it's gonna be very difficult to beat this Qatar team. So, it's a tough game to call. This could even go to penalties, and if it does go to penalties, I would be interested to see which team wins because both of these teams have already gone to penalties in the uh, the tournament so far. I think for my prediction, though, I think I'm gonna go with a nil nil after full time, and then I have a feeling Iran's gonna score a goal in extra time. I have a feeling Iran's gonna score a one nil. Lead, I think it's going to be a tight game. I don't think there'll be a lot of chances. And I just feel like as as mediocre as Qatar are, in my personal opinion, I do think Qatar's defensively is pretty strong. Qatar defensively are pretty strong. And um, I think that's good to see. And I did forget to mention, Mazid is suspended for this game. Mazid's going to be a, a player that's going to be suspended. So I think that's going to be interesting to see what happens. So if my predictions come to fruition, this is how I think the final will turn out. We would get a South Korea versus Iran final guys so i want to know what you guys think um in the comments below do you guys agree with me please let me know what you guys think in the comments below remember guys to like and subscribe i'll come to the thoughts comes below and let me know if there's any major talking points i missed in the comments below i'm sure there probably is and that's the beauty of the comments i'm going to be looking through your guys comments replying to the ones if i have any additional thoughts to bring so remember guys to like and subscribe to comment below subscribe to the description below and yeah i'll see you guys later peace out